What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about what we can expect to see in Destiny this week when Reset happens tomorrow, Tuesday, March the 1st. First of all, let's look at what we can expect to see in the store for Bright Dust this week. A lot of the stuff we've seen in past seasons, not a lot of new things here. There is one new item and that will be the Royal Treatment Shader. The other things you can expect to see this week in the store for Bright Dust is a ornament for each individual character. You will have the Getaway Artist Ornament for the Warlock, the Hunter Shindu's Vow Ornament, and the Titan Doomfane Pauldrons Ornament. So make sure that you log in on each, indiv uh, each individual character and check those ornaments out. Also, uh, the Lemonarch uh, Bow will have the ornament, uh, an ornament available this week as well for Bright Dust. You will also see the Red Button Emote, uh, the Dual Engine Ship, and the Last City Sparrow. Like I said, a lot of this stuff we've seen in past seasons, but definitely uh, give that royal treatment shader a look if you're interested in you know trying to collect all the shaders in game that is one of the new shaders that is available and it is available this week for bright dust uh what they're doing now with kind of the raid challenges is going to be instead of just the vault of glass it will be deep stone crypt and the vault of glass so this week's challenge for the deep stone crypt will be the four core challenge if you complete this you will get an extra chest with extra loot it's a good way to really kind of farm your power level right now i know a lot of people are doing you know vault of glass and deep stone crypt or considering doing that to kind of get some of that you know more powerful gear kind of rank their character up and get their power level up a little quicker when it comes to the vault of glass is the out of the way challenge of course you're going to get an additional chest at the end of that if you complete that as well but also keep in mind if you do this on a higher difficulty we still have those time lost weapons and this week's time lost weapon is the fate bringer when it comes to crucible this week mayhem will be the uh, playlist also bonus vanguard ranks this week for the nightfall it will be the arms dealer i'm not 100 percent sure what the weapons are going to be this week i could not find that information confirmed anywhere so they didn't want to let you guys you know tell you guys certain weapons that may not be in there but we do know it's going to be that arms dealer uh, not fall this week along with like I said those extra uh, Vanguard ranks so it's a great time to rank up that Vanguard and get some of those new Vanguard items if you're looking for those when it comes to battlegrounds the new battlegrounds this week will be the, in the Cosmodrome it's going to kind of progress the battleground story even more and there's a rumor of a new area opening up within the helm during this week's story so we'll kind of have to wait and see if that happens but leave me a comment let me know what you think this new area could be we've seen some screenshots back when uh, the game was first or the dlc was kind of first introduced of what this room might be but there are some expansions apparently to the room and right now some of the doors are closed and it seems like as we progress the story with battlegrounds those rooms and areas are going to start to open up more also make sure you're doing your wellspring dailies uh or you know you're doing your wellspring daily i guess i should say because each day there is a different weapon within the wellspring now the wellspring rotates to attack and defend each day and there are four new weapons available and one of those weapons will be available each day so make sure you're doing your well springs i've been you know going on going in the game and farming well springs for a couple hours each day over the last few days also the weekly mission this week of course you can do for a pinnacle piece of gear you have to upgrade finch to unlock this weekly mission so you may not see it yet on your map but once you have uh, finch ranked up enough you will get this weekly mission and you can do it on higher levels for pinnacle gear and some other really good rewards for your weapon crafting so you can get some of those really high level materials you need and that weekly mission this week will be the ghost mission and also keep in mind if you're looking forward to the new raid that does launch on march the 5th let me know if you're going to be playing that raid with a a group or friends or clan mates when it launches on march the 5th anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace